Hey, and welcome back to Following the Chosen. I'm Ben. And I am Laura. Well, Laura, we're still trying to follow the Chosen in season four, but as of yet, haven't seen much of season four We've since lost them. episodes <laughs> one and two. <laughs> we were lost until Dallas Jenkins updated us and everybody else this week with some bad news. A bad news. Yeah. I, I was actually impressed with the massive headline, Bad mm. News, mm. which usually you try to douse down, but yes, he really yeah. went to it and said, Spoiler alert, if you haven't seen Dallas Jenkins update, and you should go and check it out. The bad news is season four, still not sure when it's going to arrive on streaming. Yeah, they've had to delay the streaming because the way that Dallas Jenkins explained it was that there's basically a legal issue that's affecting their ability to release the series as they had intended. Which they couldn't go into in any way, shape or form. Yeah, no, so we didn't get exact details, but basically the big bad news was that the series is delayed, which makes sense because we have been waiting here in Australia for a little while, even for the cinema release to see the next episodes. I don't know if they're still planning on doing a global cinema release at all. I don't know that that's going to happen. But streaming wise, we actually don't have a date to know when the next episode is going to be available. But I really appreciated how Dallas Jenkins for like 15 minutes or so tries to give as in detail an update as he can about the situation that's happening for The Chosen. And this go, this is very in keeping for a show that since it began was so community minded, so yeah. crowd funded. So we are with you in this and you are with us in this. Mm. So I like the transparency. I like yeah. how Dallas Jenkins is getting on the front foot and letting us know, including how it is still bad news. And, and still, yeah, it's like one of those updates that doesn't quite actually get you there because it doesn't update you about the one thing that and you really want to know, when's the show coming? And you know what I realised? We're basically reviewing, because we don't have episodes of The Chosen to watch, we're reviewing our watching <laughs> of Dallas's announcement. Like, that's what's <laughs> happening right now because you did a good job, Dallas. Um, but, like, I'm with you. Like, what I really appreciated was that transparency because this is a show that is literally built on the engagement of fans, followers, people that are invested in making sure a show like this exists for free, which was the huge point that Dallas was trying to make as well, that this is a show that they're wanting to make sure is available for free for people to watch, as well as in cinemas and all of the other places. And it was a great reminder of yeah. how much it costs to put out a yeah. show for free, particularly when it's not using a massive streaming platform like Netflix and being bankrolled by that yeah. or other major media organisations. And Dallas Jenkins took some time to go into how many people are involved, the money mm -hmm. that it can take, the translation yeah. effort. The, the fact that The Chosen is translated into all sorts of languages all around the world mm. for free yeah. so that people can enjoy it for free was a good reminder, including to me, as well as that reminder that given it's crowdfunded, yeah. only 5%, Dallas Jenkins said, 5% of viewers of the show put money into the show, yeah. which is yeah. a big opportunity for the 95%. Mm. Also a reminder to me that I haven't actually contributed to The Chosen for some time, but I've benefited wow, yeah. from watching it. So we've given to The Chosen, we've invested like you have, but not for some time. It's just kind of crazy. Like if you, you know, most of us don't work in the media, TV, film kind of industry world. And so there's a lot of that behind the scenes stuff that gets lost on us sometimes, particularly when a show, again, like The Chosen is doing things differently. It's It's got to educate its audience about this model as much as it has to educate and, and impact things within the industry as a whole. Like, And this was one of the things I find challenging. Like it's great that there's transparency and we now know that there is a delay, that we're going to have to wait a bit for this. But I'm kind of also a little bit like sad about the fact that this wasn't all resolved before the rollout of season four happened. Like I don't know how much of a heads up or what kind of foresight the chosen team had to, to know that these legal issues were going to come down the line. But I think the unfortunate thing is like even though there's honesty in saying yes there's a delay you've also got an audience like ourselves that we exist in the Netflix generation. Like we're used to episodes coming out at particular times. We're used to being able to consume, thing, consume things a particular way. So even though the chosen are doing things differently in their model and their release structure and all of this stuff, you do also have that difficulty of being different within an environment that has certain expectations based on what is familiar to us, if right? If you're going to drop a season of a TV show, then you're going to drop a season of a TV yeah, show. Yeah, so it's tough. drip feed it out and then leave it to who knows when it's actually going to arrive. And to me, Laura, it seems like the chosen team must have been optimistic, let's say, yeah. about... <laughs> whatever issues they are facing to, to, in terms of distribution and yeah. sustaining the show long term, mm. that they were going to have it sorted by the cinema release of the early episodes yeah. of season four. Yeah, and maybe. it would all be sorted out and it would be on streaming. And, and no all one be, would know. No one would ever know. <laughs> and yet, here we are. In amongst all this mention of 
legal issues, Laura. It reminded me of how The Chosen has moved from its former studio, Angel Studios. It's got this Lionsgate International Distribution deal, the Come and See Foundation that's mm. involved in the support of the show. Clearly, there's a lot of moving parts to this, yeah. a lot of people involved. And when The Chosen went from Angel to Lionsgate, that seemed like it was all sorted, but I'm imagining that in the process of decoupling and mm. then trying to work out how to sustain the show long-term, as Dallas Jenkins was pointing out in the video, yeah, it's a lot more complicated than wrapping oh, it up yeah. before the start of season four. And I think too, the, basically Dallas and the team are doing the hard work for other productions down the line who are no doubt gonna want to mirror what they do off the model that The Chosen has set up, but it's like Dallas and the team are kind of doing all of those bits and going, how do we refine these kind of agreements and how do we do what we want to do for free while also doing this industry thing and all these parts that I don't fully understand either, of course, it's not my industry, but I just, I kind of appreciate the work that goes into these people who are carving new ground and going, oh my goodness, how do we do this? And all the creativity that Dallas spoke about in this video that is needed to solve problems that you can't always anticipate. And maybe you're the first ones in in this way like good on you guys at The Chosen for actually doing that because I don't think that would be easy. So we here at Following The Chosen, Laura, will continue to follow The Chosen. Yes. When The Chosen season four, the rest of it arrives. Right, because drum roll, this is our own update that we're pausing Following The Chosen because there's no episodes to follow right now. So yes, we will be here with you. You can still subscribe and catch up on everything up to this point. There are many interviews with the cast and crew. There are still, of course, previous episodes to listen to, listen to so do that. And we will return when there is more things about The Chosen to follow.